There's a right hand, drives Lukovic into the ropes. Down he goes. Every great boxer in the history of boxing has a unique signature move with which they unleash unimaginable destruction in the ring. If you're wondering what Deontay Wilder's secret move is, it's his thunderous straight right hand. On that note, let's take a quick look at 25 times Deontay Wilder showed next-level power in the ring. Number 25, Deontay Wilder vs. Chris Irola The jab is what got Wilder victorious in this match. Wilder threw countless jabs at his opponent throughout the match, which at one point snapped Chris's head back too. Another powerful jab from Wilder left Chris's left eye swollen while he was bleeding profusely from a cut over his right eye. And they're well done dealing with them without a problem. A good shot to yeah, the top of the head. And down he goes. Number 24, Deontay Wilder vs. Kurtzton Mansuel. Wilder threw in powerful left jabs followed by a right hand and then a left hook that destroyed his opponent and sent him to the canvas. But what really took things to the next level was when Wilder knocked his opponent down for the second time with a powerful right hand followed by a left hook. The third and final send-off to the canvas was when Wilder threw in a barrage of punches from which Kurtzton did not recover. Number 23, Deontay Wilder vs. Johan Duhalpas Wilder's hooks and right hands didn't seem to be sending Johan to the canvas as the man was full of perseverance and determination to stand on his two feet no matter what. But by the tenth round, Johan had endured a lot and a bunch of powerful uppercuts, body shots, and crosses from Wilder resulted in a stoppage before any further damage could befall Johan. Here comes Wilder. This should be it. It is. Number 22, Deontay Wilder vs. Damon McCreary During the second round of this match, Damon tried aiming a punch at Wilder's head, which accidentally brazed his neck instead. This opened up a quick opportunity to Wilder during which he threw in a left followed by a right and then another left hand that sent his opponent collapsing to the canvas after falling against the ropes. Number 21, Deontay Wilder vs. Artur Spilka In the final round of this match, Wilder's powerful right hand landed on Artur's chin that sent him flying to the canvas. Arthur was truly obliterated and getting back up from that devastating punch was next to impossible. Number 20, Deontay Wilder vs. Marlon Hayes Wilder's powerful right hand in the fourth round seemed to damage Hayes quite tremendously. A stoppage had to be called after this, as the intensity of the blow was terribly punishing. In fact, big right hands were thrown by Wilder right from round one, so the situation Hayes was in was due to accumulation of right hands that had been hurled at him all along. Came out of his mouth as it is right now, and he pushed it back in with his left with his right hand again. Number 19, Deontay Wilder versus Eric Molina. This was a tough match for Wilder, but he managed to send Molina to the canvas in round four, twice in round five, and once again in round nine. Power shots were thrown by Wilder throughout the match, and he ended a match with a signature right hand that secured him the win. Number 18, Deontay Wilder vs. David Long Right from the start, Wilder made maximum use of his jab. He then went on to throw a thunderous right hand that sent his opponent to the canvas quite hard. The referee had to intervene and stop the match without a countdown. And the crowd are getting beaten. Oh. Oh, hey. That's Deontay Number 17, Deontay Wilder vs. Calvin Price Wilder held on to his patience during the first two rounds of this match, with Calvin barely landing any connecting punches on his opponent. However, in the third round, Wilder threw a powerful right hand at Calvin's jaw that sent him to the ropes. Calvin struggled to get back on his feet, following which the match had to be halted. Number 16, Deontay Wilder vs. Damon Reed. The combination of punches that Wilder threw at Damon in the second round of this match was both powerful and immaculate to the point where the heavy blows sent Damon to the ropes and then to the canvas. It was hard for him to come back from that level of destruction. Number 15, Deontay Wilder vs. Daniel Cota Round 1 of this match involved Wilder throwing in jabs and left hooks. There was some action from Daniel in round 2, but nothing too damaging. 
In round three, Wilder threw in an energetic bunch of jabs and left hooks. Towards the latter part of this round, Wilder's furious right hand granted him a win after sending Cota to the canvas. Number 14, Deontay Wilder versus Shannon Cottle. Wilder initiated the match with a jab, following which he landed a looping right hand. Shannon was on all fours in receiving this, with only the ropes supporting his hurting body. He wasn't able to make it back up before the countdown, and hence lost the match in the first round itself. Number 13, Deontay Wilder versus Gerald Washington. Wilder was patient during the first four rounds of this match, but in round five, he threw in a flurry of punches that dropped his opponent to the canvas. A stoppage had to be called by the referee. The pace and the timing. Oh, big right hand, and down goes Washington. There's that. Number 12, Deontay Wilder versus Matthew Greer. Every time Wilder threw in a right hand, Greer seemed to hit the canvas. Wilder floored Greer thrice in this manner, all in round two. Wilder then used his jab and left hook, followed by a flurry of powerful punches, to end the match in his favor. Number 11, Deontay Wilder versus Dominique Alexander. Wilder knocked Dominique Alexander once at the beginning of round two and finished him a while later with a powerful right hand to Dominique's jaw. Taking that punch is no joke, as the destruction and pain that it comes with is unimaginable. Number 10, Deontay Wilder versus Bermain Stiver in two. Wilder's rangy jab within the first minute of the round was punishing. Another explosive performance was seen by Wilder a while later when he threw in the left followed by a right hand, sending his opponent back to the canvas. Number 9, Deontay Wilder versus Jesse Altman's. Wilder threw a right hand behind his opponent's ear that injured him pretty badly. He managed to get back into the game, but once the game restarted, the referee felt that a stoppage had to be called, while many felt was too early for a stoppage. <laughs> Number 8, Deontay Wilder vs. Sierhe Lyakovic Wilder won this match via a knockout, which was caused by a brutal right hand that sent him to the ropes. Following this, Wilder threw in some powerful blows to finish his opponent off once and for all. The right hand landed on Sierhe's temple, due to which the man was left convulsing on the canvas, losing control over his motor skills. Number 7, Deontay Wilder vs. Audley Harrison In this match, Wilder held on to his patience for a good 40 seconds before he unleashed his inner beast. Wilder cornered Audley and threw a powerful right at his opponent. This was then followed by a set of thunderous power punches. Audley dropped to one knee, finding it hard to get back up. Though he got back up, the referee deemed his state and fit to go on with a match, due to which Wilder won this match via first round knockout. Number 6, Deontay Wilder vs. Malik Scott. Wilder knows how to confuse his opponent and knock them out when they are off guard. He threw in a powerful left hand that had Malik focusing on the left all along. Following this came a swift right hand that Malik had almost no time to acknowledge before he fell crumbling to the canvas. Your left hand coming up the middle, coming up the middle, coming up the middle. And eventually he's going to come around the side. He's going to look to the side and the right hand's going to sneak up. Number 5, Deontay Wilder versus Dominique Brazil. Dominique started the fight on his front foot and tried to corner his opponent. But Wilder was alert and threw in a devastating combination of punches that destroyed his opponent. It was Wilder's big right hand that stopped the match, and Dominique in round one, declaring Wilder the winner via knockout. He has gotten to this point. Oh, big right hand. Down goes Number four, Deontay Wilder versus Luis Ortiz. Ortiz was leading during the first four rounds, but things were in Wilder's favor at the end of round five when he threw in a powerful right hand that landed on Ortiz's head. This was then followed by a second right hand to Ortiz's temple that sent him to the ropes and then the floor. The six and seven rounds were equally eventful. In round 10, Wilder threw a barrage of punches that ended with a right hand followed by another flurry of punches that he ended with an uppercut. Ortiz was down for the third time in the match and Wilder won. Number three, 
Deontay Wilder versus Luis Ortiz too. It wasn't Wilder's right hand that won him this match, but it was his powerful finishing jab that gained him victory. This was pure revenge for the right left hook combination that Ortiz had sent in Wilder's direction. That left hand was blocked. Oh, 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 oh. Number two, Deontay Wilder versus Nikolai Firtha. Wilder kept throwing connecting overhand lefts, which all happened to be power shots. These power shots were fast and sharp, and he kept outboxing and outclassing Firtha constantly. Firtha was then dropped to the canvas in the fourth round with a tough blow. Number one, Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. Wilder's left jab, followed by a straight hand to his opponent's temple in round four, was immaculate. Wilder dropped his opponent to the canvas, but managed to get back up. Wilder floored Fury once more when he threw in a short right hook behind his opponent's ear that was utterly devastating. The result of the match was a draw, as the energy and power that took place in this match was insane. Hope you enjoyed today's content. Make sure you subscribe to the Home of Boxing. See you very soon.